Well, Micah, Gr Michael Gromegna was given the chance to either hire an attorney or apply for a public defender, and he declined to do either, choosing instead to represent himself, and he told the court he did nothing wrong. There has been nothing that I've done wrong. 42-year-old Michael Gromegna of Bolton carried a copy of the Holy Bible with him as he entered the courtroom. I live by the Holy Bible. Gromegna was ordered to stay away from a protected person with the initial CC, but he told the court, I am the victim here. He's accused of strangling CC until they were unconscious. There was no victim. The alleged victim said it never happened. The victim, or I said it never happened. The witness that was on the property said it never happened. As part of that protective order, the court ordered Gromegna to surrender all his weapons, but he claims the court made it impossible for him to do that. They made a warrant to go search my home the day I got out of jail. I didn't even have time to go back there. You gave me an order saying I couldn't, and then you arrested me for the guns that were there that I could not surrender. This is the cache of weapons police discovered in Gromegna's home here on Shoddy Mill Road in Bolton, a property that spans 30-plus acres. Not everybody has 21 guns. They may have three or four. There have been some problems there re recently, so... I wasn't terribly surprised. According to the arrest warrant, the weapons stockpile found, quote, in a lower level storage room. Investigators located a cutout in the drywall. Six of Gromegna's kids live in the home with him. DCF went to their school to take custody of several of them. The kids allegedly said, quote, he is going to kill all of you. I can't wait until my dad gets here. You're all going to be sorry. Lockdown doesn't matter. My dad will come through that window. He's going to shoot some people. You don't know how mad he's going to be. The children told police Gromegna's home contained a panic room. The children reported that the panic room was stocked with food, water, and firearms. And Gromegna is well known to law enforcement and the courts. He is facing 24 misdemeanor and 21 felony charges. Ultimately, the judge ordered Gromegna to be held on a million dollars bond, and he will be back in court for this matter on March 3rd. And between now and then, if he does manage to make bail, the court ordered that he be put on a GPS monitoring bracelet. Reporting live in Rockville, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.